Hi guys, welcome to another video by myself, Bates and 87. It is Wednesday, we are doing Transfer Centre on a Wednesday. Just to recap some of the transfers which have gone through, are going through, and a lot of highly speculated transfers which could happen in the next couple of days to weeks to months to years. That's what the Transfer Centre is all about. Now, if you guys do want any MSP, PSN codes, or cheat game codes, go and check out G2A.com. Their link is down below. If we try and hit over 5,000 likes, that'd be absolutely insane. And guys, subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already. So on the screen now... You are going to be seeing a, um, a lot of proposed transfers which uh, are going through. A lot of rumoured ones and obviously as ones speculated and confirmed and stuff. Um, one of the two of them may get confirmed um, today as the video does go, go live. It happened last week, guys. You guys may have seen. Uh, I think it was Tillman's uh, fully confirmed transfer to Monaco. And I can't remember. There's one or two which went through last week. Just after the video went live. And the same should happen today as well. Now we're going to start off with Wayne Rooney. In in winter he was highly speculated to be moving on away from Manchester United. Told he wasn't really wanted. Getting too old. A lot of speculation around his England career as well. Uh, but Wayne Rooney is going to be eyeing up his options this summer guys. And maybe looking for the money move to China. Um, and I can't remember Evergrande. I don't know the Chinese league names, uh, but Wayne Rooney is highly speculated to be going to China this summer. Would Man United fans be happy with that? Probably, because they seem to be getting a lot of big money moves this summer, um, and one or two of them are going to start coming through soon. So that's Wayne Rooney. Next one, Sizoko. Sizoko came out into the press today and asked Tottenham not to block a move away from White Hart Lane, or not even White Hart Lane, from Wembley, because one of the reasons he said was he had the worst year or worst season in his footballing career ever. Now, he's had some bad ones, don't get me wrong. This was even a big money move when he joined Tottenham. But obviously it hasn't come through and uh, obviously isn't going to be a Tottenham player for much longer after them. Comments, Antoine Griezmann. This one, within the last half an hour, has come out and say Woodward has confirmed personal terms um, with Antoine Griezmann and should be announced in the next couple of weeks, probably after the uh, France, I think he's away with France at the moment. Um, and before that, it came out that Griezmann had had talks with Atletico Madrid and did state that he wants to leave the club. Manchester United, you're getting your man by the looks of it. It's a shame, really, for everyone else in the Premier League because Antoine Griezmann is going to tear shit up. It's definitely going to happen. The next one we got is Douglas Costa. Failed to set in at Bayern Munich and uh, there was a lot of speculation in the winter transfer window that he would be leaving then. But then Bayern came out and said we'll leave it to the summer and then assess the, op uh, the options for him um, when it comes. Now, there's two teams which are highly interested in him. The first one is PSG. These seem to be the leaders for him as well, with Di Maria potentially leaving PSG as well. The other team is Juventus. Now, Juventus are actually after, after Di Maria as well, so I think it's going to... Like, if PSG get Costa, Di Maria's going to go to Juventus. If Juventus get this guy... Di Maria may, may stay, who knows. Um, but that's an interesting one and would be pretty good for foot as well, uh, for you skillers out there and pace halls. We then have Seri. Not many people know about this guy. This card is a pretty good card in game. It is in form version, very, very well rounded stats. And this is looking like it could be the first transfer of Barcelona's new manager to bring him in from Nice to Barcelona. This card will be absolutely sick in game and more than likely should be getting boosted uh, come the FIFA 18 ratings as well. We then have Begovic, £10 million. Confirmed move to um, confirmed move to Bournemouth, and I think Defoe's also joined as well now. Um, so Begovic and Defoe, um, two old schoolers, but two very very decent players uh, joining Bournemouth. They are obviously making a push towards next season. We have this guy, Liverpool. Liverpool fans rejoice. We have been looking at loads of massive money move transfers this transfer window, building up to the transfer window. And then we spend about three million on Solanke. I don't really know much about him. The only clip I've seen of him is his te him tearing um, a defence to bits uh, when he was playing for Vitesse, presumably on loan. But this is a signing from uh, uh, from Chelsea as well. So it's going to be a very, very interesting one to see how this one happens. Hopefully Klopp still has a lot of money to spend on big money players because we need them. Next one we've got, guys, is Bernardo Silva. This one's a little bit of an old one, but it is a confirmed record transfer window uh, move from Monaco to Manchester City. He was very close to joining Manchester United. The last video, um, it was t t people told me that he was going to be joining Manchester United and then all of a sudden he's gone for the other side of Manchester and uh, obviously signed for Manchester City. And with that, a lot of people are leaving Manchester City as well. Um, Navas being one of them, so he's probably going to be a replacement for him. 
We have Semedo. Newcastle are going to try and pull him from the Portuguese league and bring him to the Premier League as it's their first season back after the relegation. So... It'll be interesting to see how he does in the Premier League. Uh, been tipped to be one of the best uh, wing backs in, uh, in in the world of football at the moment, and Newcastle are going to try and either pull him as a permanent transfer or even a loan signing. We then have Sengiz Under. You guys may remember this card. I don't recall this card at all, but he's got a nickname, the Turkish Dybala. I don't really know much about him, but Tottenham apparently have won the race to get his signature and will be a Tottenham player by the end of the transfer window. Interesting little card. I don't know his skills and weak foot and stuff, but it's going to be interesting to see if he can live up to the hype of the Turkish Dybala. We then have Chesney. Chesney currently is, well, currently was, is, well, he was an Arsenal goalkeeper on loan out at AS Roma. He even started his own TV show on the Roma YouTube channel. Um, now, he's actually agreed personal terms with Napoli and it's a permanent transfer. So he's now a Napoli goalkeeper um, for the future. So it's going to be interesting to see how he gets on the Serie A, um, considering he's going to... I, I don't know. It's Napoli, I don't know. Who would you guys say better, Napoli or Roma? Um, but either way, he's going to still be the number one there. We then have Musaccio. Milan are looking to make moves this window, um, get a lot of players in. I think they've acquired the full signing of uh, De La Faux, um, De La Faux. Musaccio is another one they've signed as well today. Um, a decent centre-back as well, so should do pretty well for them. We then have Inaccio, um, Ina Inaccio, um yeah, the Nigerian striker for Manchester City. Manchester City are looking to sell him. But the only reason they'll sell him to City if is there was a buyback option on his contract. So that's going to be an interesting one to see if that goes through. But regardless, I think he will be heading out on loan this upcoming season. We then have on Alexandra Lacazette, the striker for uh, Lyon, being tipped to be moving away from there. For the last two seasons. Um, and it's looking like, guys, with Griezmann wanting to head his way out of Atletico Madrid, they were looking for a direct replacement. They're going to get it with Lacazette. So he's going to be going to Atletico Madrid um, with Griezmann going to Manchester United. So it seems like that one's going to be panned out well for the two Frenchmen. We then have Ivan Perisic. Manchester United and Inter Milan cannot come to an agreement with the fee of this um this player, obviously he's absolutely done amazing for Inter Milan this season. You can see that with the amount of special cards he's got in Ultimate Team. And uh, he will be a brilliant player to come into the Premiership. So this one more than likely will happen in the next couple of weeks if they can get that price tag um, agreed with between the two clubs. We then have Riyad Mahrez come out today. And has said he wants to leave Leicester City. I'm really surprised he didn't jump, jump out last season. I really bet he did. Uh, wish he did. And the same with Jamie Vardy as well. But Mahrez is going to be um, not a Leicester player at the start of... Well, he could be at the start of next season. But by the end of the transfer window, I think one of the big money clubs is going to come out and get him, guys. He's easily a 30 mil player. And even though Leicester haven't done the well, there's been moments of magic which he's done absolutely brilliantly. And when he's uh, surrounded by really good players, who knows what he can produce. We then have Niang, currently at loan at Watford. Watford wanted to make this a full-time transfer. I don't think he does want that. Um, so Everton have now stepped up and uh, are in the race to try and get his permanent signing for him in the Premier League. So another potential one to watch for him. Uh, next next FIFA. We then have Jermaine Lons. Lens. This card doesn't exist, but he does have a Turkish League team this season as of yesterday for Fenerbahce. Now, Besiktas have come out and said that they were admired lens uh, for the way he has uh, operated himself in Turkey. Said he was an absolutely brilliant player, but they said they wouldn't try the hardest to try and sign him. So, lens could end up going to Besiktas, uh, and hopefully that does happen because he's had a pretty sick season out in the Turkish League. We then have Keita. Keita is one of Liverpool's number one, if not Liverpool's number one target for the transfer window. Fans are hyped for it. I'm hyped for it if it ever did happen. Um, seen as a decent box-to-box -box midfielder. But he come out and he quashed Liverpool's transfer, saying that he wants to stay. Well, I don't know if he said if he wants to stay, but he definitely wants to work on the Champions League um, prize, which obviously the team that he put, Les Pig, I think it is, um, who uh, who got who got it this season. So he wants to stay and work on their uh, structure and try and make them a, a consistent Champions League performer. Didn't didn't sit well with me. I, I, I want him at Liverpool, so we'll have to wait and see if this one does happen. Next one we've got, guys, is Benjamin Mendy. Not just Liverpool after him. We have the likes of Chelsea, Manchester United, City. Name that Premier League club, and they're after this guy. Liverpool have jumped in as well. They're going to try and sign him. Whether it happens or not, we'll have to wait and see. But left-back is always a problem with Liverpool's team, and it has been since John Arnarisa was in there. Next one we've got, guys, is Jerome Boateng. Um, this one was a funny one. 
Chelsea are going to try and go after Jerome Boateng if their um, if their pursuit of Van Dijk doesn't work. Like what? Van, you're seeing Jerome Boateng as a backup to Van Dijk. That's mental. Um, but it looks like uh, Chelsea would try and bring him in if uh, they never got the uh, man they did want. Danny Rose. And also Kyle Walker, I'm going to talk about both of them. Danny Rose is pretty close to becoming a Manchester United player. Um, obviously Luke Shaw's out of favour at Manchester United and uh, they wanted a replacement. Danny Rose looks like it's going to be the man. Now Kyle Walker, and I don't know how far you guys look into it, because even his quote said, uh, thank you Tottenham fans for the season just had. And it was about six Instagram posts which said thank you. Now the only time you ever see that is when a player's leaving, but he did put some quotes saying he wasn't leaving the summer, um, and it was a massive thank you to the fans um, for the support during the season. But let me know what your thoughts on that one, guys. A lot of people think he is odds on to be joining Manchester City, um, and be interesting to see if that one does go through. And the, probably the final one of today, guys, is Edison. Um, Manchester City looking to break the the transfer record for a goalkeeper and making one of the most expensive goalkeepers in the world after spent splashing the cash on Bravo last season not obviously finding the right settlement with keepers as we were using Big Willie who's actually going to be leaving uh, Manchester City now and Edison looks to be the person coming in on the return way. And this one, I think he uh, was having a medical today. I don't know if it's going to be announced, but uh, he could be an announced Manchester City player, guys, by the time this video does go live. So that's a rundown of all the potential transfers for this week. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please leave a like rating. Let me know your thoughts and comments on a lot of these transfers. The one I mainly... Um, I'll probably go with the Griezmann and, and Lacazette one. Let me know your thoughts on that one. Perisic as well. Mares, where do you think Mares is going to end up? And um, who else do I want to talk about? There's one more on the bench. Who was it? Probably this guy, Under. I want to know if you guys know much about him, because I really don't know much. And also, also Seri. Seri as well. Yeah, we'll talk about them. You guys get commenting down below. Leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're not. And I'll be back here with another video for you guys to enjoy. <laughs>